Tom Vandervoort from the Sporting News Studios. And, you know, every week I sit down with Hall of Fame quarterback Troy Aikman to talk about the NFL. But a lot of times we have to cut some pretty good stuff out of the show. This week, one thing we left out, Troy's take on Robert Griffin III. Speaking of quarterbacks, last year at this time we were talking about a very impressive debut uh, by Cam Newton. And we're sitting here talking about Robert Griffin III. Now, unlike Cam, his team actually won the game. He was very impressive in a lot of respects. What impressed you about RG3's game last week against New Orleans? And we know Jeff Fisher, an old defensive back, was able to bait Matthew Stafford into some uh, interceptions last week as the coach of the Rams, the Rams and the Redskins. What do you think Jeff Fisher will throw at RG3 to throw him off his game? Uh, you know, I was impressed, as everybody was, with uh, the performance by Robert Griffin, and, and he was exceptional. And I thought the way things started out early in that game and, and get him into the flow, get the ball out of his hands quickly, put together some completions was the right approach. Uh, for Kyle and Mike Shanahan offensively. And then you could see his confidence grow as the game went along, made some big throws. And I think the thing that impressed me the most was his composure that he showed because that was not an easy place to play. Uh, it's a very hostile environment against a good football team. Uh, he saw a lot of looks that he had not seen in preseason, and yet he hung in there and, and made the plays when he had to make them. So that was, that was quite impressive. Now, you know, what will Jeff Fisher do? He, you know, the best thing that the Rams could do is, is get a lead, is get a big lead, you know, and force the Redskins to be, you know, more one-dimensional. But as long as the Redskins are close and uh, not playing from a huge deficit, then uh, they'll be able to continue to manipulate some of the things that they're doing within that offense uh, to protect them. But there's no doubt Jeff Fisher is a great defensive coach. Uh, they'll have a scheme and they'll have some things. Uh, t now that they've got film on, uh, on Robert Griffin, because everyone going into that first week isn't quite sure exactly what they're going to get, both offensively and defensively. And now after week one, you get a chance to see what the Redskins do offensively, what they want to do with him, what he's good at, what he may struggle with. And so as you put more performances on tape, I think then as you move through the season, you start getting a better feel as to what players are going to be able to continue to play at a high level.